TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman sitting in for Tommy O'Brien. This is the 9 a.m. TFNN market update. The futures, are, Dow futures up 53, the S&P futures are up 8. We're looking at a very interesting situation because last week little, little doji candles were formed at tops around about the 15th, 16th of uh, the month. And we've had three, four, five sessions of consolidation. And it very simply put, if the Dow, in my work, if the Dow had to close underneath 27,000, let's call it 26,980 any day this week, that would suggest that we're in for a consolidation, uh, about another week or so of consolidation. The S&P trading right now, the S&P futures are trading down, uh, sorry, trading up, but they closed at 2976 in the cash on Friday, underneath the 9 to 14 period moving average. Averages. So if the S&P starts to trade underneath 2968 uh, at any point this week, suggests that there's going to be a bit of a pullback in time, and maybe not so much in price, but at least uh, some in time. And the QQQ, which is the NDX 100, trading up 45 cents right now, pre-opening, pre is at 191.46. If that starts to trade in the 189, I put it 189.60 area, uh, that suggests that it's going to be. So for all of them, if there are new highs this week, that's very, very good action. But there's a good chance that we're in for some kind of a consolidation. And you can see that in the TLT, which is the, the Treasury bond uh, fund. It's up 75 cents at 132.44. But I think that we are in for a little bit of a bump up in yields this week. We'll see what happens. And most importantly, crude oil right now is trading uh, up a little bit. It's had a pretty weak uh, couple of uh, sessions. And we're also looking at gold, which is holding steady. Hold, right now, gold is just down a fraction. It broke out a little bit out of the one, the 1440 area, trading at 1426. If, if gold uh, trades sideways for a little bit, it can consolidate gains that it's made, huge gains. And the dollar, interesting enough, is up a couple of pips. The dollar is trading at 97.22. This is pretty good action for the dollar, considering what uh, gold has done. So those are the areas that we're watching very closely. And have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzavento coming up now. You've got great programming all session uh, today. And uh, just have a wonderful day. Hope to see you back here in a few minutes for Larry's show. Trade what you see.